Hi, Dr. TJ Dixon here. Today's message is on five questions to ask in order for you to live your best life. Question number one, what should I release today? Every day during my journaling time and meditation time, this is one of the questions that I ask, what should I release today? And this question is an important question because all of us hold on to things. That's just part of being human. There's something or someone we hold on to. But there comes a time when sometimes someone or some things we need to let go of. So this is a really important question because when you let go of something or someone, and I don't just mean physically, but I also mean energetically, when you let something or someone go, it opens you up to being able to then turn around and receive what who and what really serves you during this particular time in your life. So this is a huge question because a lot of times when we really enjoy someone or something or we have enjoyed someone or something, we don't want to let them go. We don't want to let it go. Even when holding on and still being engaged with that someone or something is painful for us. Super important question though. Who or what do I need to release today? Question number two, embrace. Who or what do I need to embrace today? Another incredibly important question, it kind of goes with release. Whenever we release something, perhaps we're even releasing a feeling. Maybe there's someone we need to release because we haven't forgiven them for something. Perhaps that's what it is. Well, whenever we release, if you, you know, if I'm right now, I'm holding on, I'm making a fist. But when I release, I open my hand up to in turn receive something else that now I can embrace. So that's the other side of the coin. What, who or what do I need to embrace today? Because when we let someone or something go, there is someone and something that comes in to replace who and what we've let go of. So I ask that question, who or what do I need to embrace? Sometimes we as human beings can naturally kind of want to push away or repel the blessings that are coming to us, the new things that are coming to us. So it's important to ask this question because maybe taking that new position, maybe joining that new group, maybe embracing just being at peace even when everything around you is chaotic. Maybe that's exactly what and who you need right now. Question number three, what do I need to know today? See, sometimes there are revelations and messages that we can receive just by asking this question that can help prepare us for what is to come. I myself have asked that question before, and there have been times that I've re received responses back like, be at peace no matter how today goes. And I have arrived at, at my former place of work and it, things were, maybe it was gonna be a tough day. Maybe there was a bunch of things going on um, that didn't feel good or a bunch of fires I needed to put out. But it would take me back to what I needed to know to be at peace and be calm no matter what goes on this day. So sometimes it's simple messages like that that helps prepare our minds for what we're about to go into. So ask that, what do I need to know today? And see what feeling, see what response you get from God. Question number four. What do I need to see today? We as human beings have a limited view of what we can see with our own eyes and what we can know from our own experiences, from our own vantage point. 
when we ask, what do I need to see today? Again, this is another area to get further revelation on something, a vision of what may be to come, a vision on how we need to maybe see a particular situation. So it could be something like, see that everything is gonna work out for good. I actually just recently got that message um, or a similar message when I asked that question and I had a sick pet and I wasn't sure if my pet was even going to make it through that night and I received a message of see that he will be well and I am pleased to say that my pet is doing a lot better and it's doing well and it's getting better and better every day. So sometimes it's things like that, seeing something that's beyond what we can really just know ourselves without some sort of connection um, and revelation from God. Last question, question number five, what do I need to do today? Incredibly important question because we all have 24 hours in a day. Some say that time is illusional, and I definitely know that time is definitely relative. But generally speaking, we all believe we have 24 hours in a day. And even if we had all the time in the world, still, what is it? What should I do with today's time? What should I do today? An incredibly important question because sometimes, again, we will get revelation that what we had planned to do may not be the best use of our time or maybe we need to add something to it so it's a perfectly great question and there have been times when i've received messages like mm -hmm. today get up immediately and go take a walk in nature and i have found that when i've received messages like that usually what would follow is a very very busy day where me taking the walk in nature first thing has charged me up and put me in a great mood and gave me a boost of energy to get through a very busy day. So there you have it. Five questions that can help you live your best life. When you are asking those questions, it helps you hone in on the very best for you on that day. If you have liked this video, please subscribe below. And if you like to receive updates, tips, and specials on the other work that I do, please check out my website, www.drtjdixon.com. Thank you for watching, and may you live your best life.